Today I'm gonna to be talking about the history of the Coca-Cola logo. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, talk about all kinds of logos. So if that's something you're into, then definitely subscribe. I wanted to make this video because I was doing some research and I find it extremely interesting. Their logo that was drawn in 1887 still exists to this day and actually kind of made Coke what it is and made it so iconic. So a little backstory, in 1886, James Pemberton actually invented the drink itself. He was a chemist and pharmacist, uh, but the actual name Coca-Cola came from the guy who actually invented the first logo, whose name is Frank Robinson. He based the name on the original ingredients that were in Coke, which are coca bush leaves and cola nuts. He also thought that the two C's in the name and the logo would do really well in advertising. So in 1886, Coke actually came out for the first time. The logo had like no styling on it. It was just serif font words. And it actually looks to me like if they just kind of printed this on like a typewriter or printing press or something and just used whatever font was on the keys. But in 1887, Frank Robinson actually designed the logo that still is very reminiscent of the one that we use today. He did it in his own calligraphy and kind of handwriting style and actually would later go on to become a font which is called Spencerian now. He over-exaggerated the two C's in the logo which kind of drew back to what I was saying earlier about him thinking that the two C's would do really well in marketing. Toward the end of the 1800s though, Coca-Cola actually hired a couple designers to create a different logo. This new one had very hyper stylized letters and the C's were very curly. To me, I don't hate it, but it just didn't really fit together as well as the original design did. It doesn't look very cohesive anymore and it's a very big departure from the old logo. And consumers seem to agree with me because they actually went back and changed it only one year later. After that failed, they returned to a different variation of the old logo. But this time they added in the red um, and that red would continue to be used in branding all the way up until right now. This new logo was a lot thinner and the letters were way more precise and the whole thing included a box around it. This one lasted for 50 years, but I do think something is kind of clunky about the C's and just the way that things fit together. But they fixed that in 1941 and came up with the logo that we actually know today that's still used on all the branding and on all the products. To fix that clunkiness, they actually italicized all of the font and I really do think it looks way more cohesive and more compact and just fits together really nicely. One thing I really appreciate about Coke is that they have kept consistent with that old logo, aside from a few changes here and there, for over 130 years. And it's really cool to me to imagine this guy who was actually just a bookkeeper for them, writing out an idea that he had in his head on paper and the legacy of it not only surviving for so long, but actually keeping a company thriving. And Coke is one of the biggest companies today. While I do appreciate the creativity of the 1890 team, I love the current Coke logo and the original one. And I think it's a big part of why the brand is so iconic. Which of Coca-Cola's redesigns is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and if you like like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.